we're going to start the week by telling you that technology is kicking my butt. I've already recorded this once, and of course the camera didn't work. Uh, what I'm hooking up is an MSD Ultra 6AL Plus. This is the latest and greatest um, little 6 series box. Let me show you how to hook it up to the software. Um, hit the MSD logo. And right now, you see I have it powered up. And you can see it's communicating with my uh, phone because it's blinking real fast. And this is what it will initially show you. Now, this doesn't mean much, I guess, other than if it were running. But what you want to do, what I had to do rather, is go to settings. And um, the only, the way I got it to work was after playing with it for like a week, was put it on locked 15 degrees and then uh, actually using the uh, MSD timing light, I actually time it at 15 degrees. Then kill everything. Well, I didn't even kill it. Go straight to, uh, then change. Well, what you do is you update after you put the lock 15 degrees. Uh, then I switched over to 2D plot and normal. And then it'll actually read whatever you have over here. And I have a little graph. You can see it's, you know, at idle it's 10, well, to start up. And then it moves up and then comes down a little bit and goes to the maximum it ever goes to a 35. And um, it finally worked. I mean, I struggled with it. This, this setup currently is, like it said in the very, oh, where is it, in the home setting. Nope, in the settings. It's, you know, I got my launch RPM. Actually, I have that hooked up with the, the blue, light blue wire. I think a light blue wire going to my foot pad, uh, brake pedal. And so the, I checked it. The, it's got a two-step now. And then uh, this will work with my little um, line lock button. I might lower that. But anyway, that 2D plot and normal is reading this Nope, this. It's reading that chart. So if I start it up right now, it'll be idling somewhere around a thousand and it'll be like twenty something degrees advance. And it'll if I rev it up it'll it'll follow pretty much the chart. Now it's not doing the three D tuning right now. I don't care. It looked cool but um I don't know how to use that, so save that for another day. And this is what it'll be corresponding to if the engine were running, it would be showing the RPM, uh, start retard disabled. This is my, well, it says initial retard, but it's not doing that. And then my initial timing, you see it's, it's preset at 15. Um, this is one another feature, this is where I got this thing. It has a um, kind of a boost reference port uh, right there. And, you know, maybe one day if I put a turbo on it or something, that would be nice to have. And it also has a uh, boost retard a pink wire that you can use with uh, nitrous. That's more likely that I might use that. So anyway, um, the way I got it to work was over here on their settings with 2D plot and normal. But first, I had to do the locked at 15. And then when you do that, you tell it to update, and it'll instantly update, and you set it at 15, and then everything worked. Uh, hope this helps somebody.